welcome to this sixth edition of the magnets today i must tell you that we have a big fish in the studio we are going to be looking at the best way to package yourself your brand or whatever you want to market at all this is the magnet let's bring you the resume or the profile of our magnet for the week when we come back i'll be so glad to introduce him to you Shaq Hirudin A. Ajane holds a PhD in Applied and Environmental Microbiology from the University of Lagos, Nigeria, and the University of KwaZulu Natal, Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. He also holds a certificate in packaging from the prestigious Indian Institute of Packaging, Mumbai, India. S. A. Ajane has published over 15 papers in reputable journals and has made several international oral presentations in various academic fora. In 2014, Ajani was given a fellowship award by the Government of Indian Ministry of Food Processing Industries under Indo-African Food Summit on packaging of fresh and processed food products. In 1992, S.A. Ajani researched on development of high alcohol tolerance yeast strain for use in wine production at the University of Lagos. S.A. Ajani is also a member of Association of Industrial Microbiology of Nigeria, AIMN. Member, India Institute of Packaging, IIP, Mumbai, India. Now, the National President, Institute of Packaging, Nigeria, IOPN. Shakiruddin Adeniji Jani has worked in several fields from Jigawa State College of Education, Gume, Jigawa State, as a lecturer in 1992 to 1993. He has also worked as a science teacher in 1994 to 1999 at Archbishop Agri Memorial Secondary School, Moshen. He is currently the head of packaging technology, division of the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Oshodi. Come with us to the studio for our interactive session with our magnate for the week. It's still the magnate. You are welcome back to the program. It's my pleasure to welcome to the studios of Ames Media Company Limited, Dr. S. A. Jani, the president, national president, Institute of Packaging. Nigeria. You are welcome to the Magnet, sir. We are talking packaging and that relates majorly to MSME, SME. What is the relevance of packaging to marketing at various brands? Thank you very much, um, moderator. Uh, the importance of packaging stem from raw materials, down to finished products mm. and um, once we get it right from the beginning that means you're on the path of getting a good brand or good product out there if the packaging is wrong or if you get it wrong right from the beginning you may likely have some issues there are some natural packaging materials mm. a typical example is the egg shell okay <laughs> and if there's anything wrong with the shell of an egg you won't you won't think twice dropping mm -hmm, it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is what packaging is mm. either you are small either you are medium either you are micro just always have that at the back of your mind basically packaging is for containment is for preservation is for presentation is for profit another important aspect of packaging has to do with what we call compatibility of the product, product. which is the sample and the packaging Package. material. Okay, that's very interesting. One should not impact negatively on the other. Hmm. That means our product is not, the shelf life will be hindered, the integrity will be impaired, and the integrity of the food itself. What we mean by integrity of the food are all those organoleptic properties What's organoleptic? thank you like either the <laughs> color either your uh, um you're talking of color for some you are talking of flavor you are talking of aroma take for instance if you package palm oil what you know of palm oil is it must be red mm. if you now use a material that turns your palm oil white or something or purple. then you are you are then that would be another issue we've mm. had some instances like that in the past the adulteration may be as a result of adding something mm. extra. Mm. It may also come as a result of the packaging, packaging. material here because it has impacted negatively. Mm. It may not be palm oil, any mm. other. So these are the 
resilient things we need mm. to. So another important one which I have to say is um, for SMEs or micro or the large one in the industries already, what niche am I creating for myself? Who are my target or the Packaging matters in that regard. Very, very important. So you just are like using maybe your mere nylon or very, the fine. Very, 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 very good. If you are coming just on the road now, mm. you can yeah, see people selling right. um, cashew nuts. Mm -hmm. The issue is <laughs> once you buy that, that has its own client there, mm -hmm. you know, quick one. You, you may not probably bother about um, what's the content or whatever like that. But that is where that man or woman will sell our own. Right. But there are some people who are interested, how will my product get to the mall? Then that's another packaging entirely. Mm. You'll be talking of the nutritional value. You'll be talking of the pa All these things we are saying will be on your packaging material. Mm. The labels, what should be on the labels, what will our trademark look like, what will be the best before, how do we do mm. the um, batch number, all those things okay. you'll be thinking of. You think, how do I get the barcodes? Because you need to scan the barcodes. Yeah, that, so that takes me to the next uh, question, sir. Because these things you are enumerating, I don't see how somebody who wants to start up will not start saying barcode, uh, nutritional value, this. So do you really encourage them to, to grow or to start at all if all these are required? Because I know you relate with a lot of uh, young SMEs and uh, MSMEs. Uh, uh, that's a very good one. There was a time nothing called NAVDAC number. Mm -hmm. We've not been hearing of NAVDAC. We've not been hearing of some intelligent packaging whereby you just scratch a number. You check for the authenticity of your... You, you check for that. The policy of the federal government now, which I know, normally if you want to do uh, product registration, mm -hmm. you want to get your NAVDAC number, mm -hmm. you need to do some SON mm -hmm. so, sort of... It has been yes, downplayed, I mean, play, okay. uh, down, downplayed to some extent. Okay, good. It has been downplayed. But for an MSME, because of the latitude of operation which we have, if I'm not too interested in going to commercial, let me use that word, right, you only need the right packaging material for your product. That may not be encouraged, probably you stop there because everybody wants to grow. Of course. So like I've said earlier on, if you want to start right from the beginning, you may have. A, a plan of improving on your packaging over time. Mm -hmm. Probably I'm starting now. The cashew nut mm -hmm. man I said the other time. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what else can I do now? Let me go for some graphics. Probably label. You know you're starting mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Because we need to consider them. It doesn't even, it's not care. It doesn't care about your nutritional value or, or whatever. But you need to see packaging experts. Who will tell you? The packaging material you are going to use will not allow extraneous substances from the environment. Mm -hmm. We call those one extrinsic factors, mm -hmm. right? The pressure, the air, the moisture. To affect the product. The product. Th these are the things you need to look at, mm -hmm. right? You need to. And the, the world is so simple these days that we need not take enough time before you get the shelf life of your product. Mm -hmm. What concerns uh, your name with shelf life? What does it, what does it? But these are things you can do too. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you meet, you meet a good packaging expert, mm -hmm. of which we have one presently now, which mm -hmm. I can say boldly at the Federal Institute of Industrial Research. Mm -hmm. is the, is the, okay, can I say, in the whole of the country, a whole division devoted to packaging technology. Interesting. You go to the university, you can't see faculty or probably department of mm -hmm. packaging. You only mm -hmm. take packaging as courses. Okay. So that's the essence why we have such outfit mm -hmm. there, the Federal Institute. Of, so if you come, you can meet the experts, mm. they will tell you from the beginning. So yeah. you can phase them out. Mm. After some time, I will hard label. Okay. By then, we must have been informing you, you need to analyze them. Mm. Because it doesn't care what's, what concern you with. Mm. You analyze at a very small amount. And um, I'm sure they are going to get the best out of, out of whatever they All right. Dr. Say Ajani is a magnet for the week on the program today. We are having an interactive session here. I'm sure you have already taken tips from the conversation we've had so far. Let's go for a break. This is The Magnet. You are welcome back to the studios of Ames Media Company Limited. We still have with us here Dr. S.A. Ajani. He is the president, national president 
Institute of Packaging Nigeria. You're welcome back to the Magnet. Thank you very much, ma. Now, our focus is really on the young players, the SMEs that can't really f seem to find themselves together. Instead of using cellophane to just, they can't do it right, even at minimal cost. Yes or no? Yes, it, it's it's possible for them. At minimal cost, um, for any of the MSMEs, more importantly, most of these products are hydrocarbon based. They are byproducts of petroleum, and okay. good enough, we do that here. Yeah. So that is the material you use for your pure water. The pure water sachet, mm. that may be pro polypropylene. And um, the mm -hmm. bottled water, mm -hmm. called a polyethylene terephthalate. We call them mm -hmm. pet bottles. Do you make all that in Firo too? Thank you. Uh, for now, we don't make, right? But we have people we can um, connect you, very good, outsource them. There's something we call the MSME Packaging Center. Our own division at the Federal Institute of Industrial Research is one of such, whereby any entrepreneur will come with their products. We advise you on the right packaging material to produce such things. We have a whole department to that. We call them um, product development, product design and development, which mm. is probably the engineering aspect of that. Mm. So even to produce all those um, nylons, as you mm. call them, those Teams. We have, um, we've even gotten before, we call them extrusion machines. The hazards, it uh, causes to the environment, you know. You talk of the pure water sachet, the bottle, even the soft drinks. By the time they are discarded, we, we still haven't uh, embraced recycling so much to be able to curtail the hazards of this byproducts of these uh, waste products in the environment. So are we moving to a situation where we start thinking outside the box to use something, alternative mm. things than the nylon that uh, we have? Uh, um, 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 the more reason why we have the Federal Institute of Industrial Research in place is a research center. And all the problems you have highlighted is well noted. One of the major problems when it comes to environmental hazards in this country, even the whole world as we speak today, has to do with all those materials. Research uh, going on in different parts of the world, we, have, uh, we use composite materials. And this is one of the core competencies of parents of industrial research. I have about four or five projects going on now, looking at alternative routes or probably composite materials which can be incorporated to this hydrocarbon. Because the hydrocarbon put them there for a million years, they are still there. They've polluted the oceans and the sea, in different research centers, which I know, and some other places of the world I know now, they've been thinking of other alternatives. A typical example is the, the use of crustaceans, right? Crustaceans are the likes of um, shrimps, the mm. likes of... We can, the, the shell of The shells. Fish. In mm. fact, the likes of fish scales. What are snails? Snail, the chitin too, right? Fish snails, I mean, fish, fish scales. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fish scales. That we will discard. You no, know, whereby this can be incorporated into our matter. But like I said, all these serious Research work are going. Cassava. There is a compound here we can get from cassava. We call it polylactic acid. You know, cassava, you can make starch. Oh, yes. With starch, you know, starch after, very, oh, after getting, mm -hmm. it becomes very hard. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard. Now, these two can be incorporated to. These, uh, material, these materials as composite materials mm. that will make them biodegradable at the end of the day. Is that is our core competencies mm -hmm. over there, the area of risk. And that is what mm. we're doing. Outside the aesthetics part of it, because we, we have to package our product. Mm. If I can just digress a bit, the issue of recycling you are saying, mm. the use of nylon, the use of whatever, mm. the problem we are facing has to do with attitude. Any packaging material of any of these products you see, you see, they will tell you how to dispose them. Well, so we, we have to it, deal with habits there. Exactly. So that's where, that's that. where, that, you go to U.S., go to any part of the world. This is, but the most important thing is how well we, it has come to stay, but how do we treat them? How do we take care of it? It's just like every other aspect of our human endeavor. Mm. Let's, let's, let's take traffic. If you see some people drive on the road, you think probably something is wrong somewhere. So also the way we dispose our waste mm -hmm. too. The waste needs to be disposed right. Okay. Once they are disposed right, 
I'm sure this problem will will will, will go out of it. Okay, let's go so back. To, let, let's come back to yeah. the younger semis now. Yeah. Uh, you interface with them. Somebody who just come up with a concept, feasibility study or not. How long do you think that person, following your regulations, will have to stay to be able to say, ah, thank God, I now have my product on the table I can take to the market? I may not give you a straight answer to that <laughs> in terms of how long. Because you need to consider what product is it. You need to consider the material to use. But it's also... Um, when you are coming up with any idea in terms of business like that, the owner of the business must have done some, some of what we call the baseline studies. Mm. You do your baseline studies right, do your feasibility right. If you come to us, our own is to translate your idea into something tangible you Reality. can see. Right? Okay. You translate that idea. And it depends on, on that person. And our, at our own end, there, the only thing is, you can, once we give you some protocols to follow, all right. It now depends on how well we go by at, at, at both ends. Let's look at your office, really. Are people just interested in getting this uh, product, or they are now more interested in the packaging, the finance, the finishing, from your interface with them? Yeah, that, that's a nice one. The, the, the consciousness in terms of the, of the packaging of the product is mm. getting more and more. Interesting. Because I'll give you an instance. If you buy paracetamol from any brand, let's say 50 Naira. You know, you get your, in those blisters, the components at the end of the day, let's say it's 50 Naira, packaging is 40 Naira. Hmm. Let me give you another similitude. You approach the woman in the market to buy a lubo, and they have this measure. And meanwhile, the same lubo, I mean, comf I mean, young flour, you put it inside the sachet were packaged in the mall. Comparatively, you are paying for the packaging in the mall, but you are paying for the products with the woman in the market. Is this the same thing you are talking about? Exactly, exactly. You, you, are, you are actually getting the picture right. The amount you are going to buy it in the mall will be quite different from the amount you are buying it from, from Mama mm. in the market, mm. simply because of the input in terms of, and the same product. But the issue with Mama is just that, um, all that is required, she doesn't, if, if she knows, she will do save. Mm -hmm. Value addition. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. are some people, they do gari, they sell a ball, they, they are not interested in it. They will just go and buy and package. Packaging means a lot in every human endeavor. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the uh, relationship of uh, proper packaging with branding? Is it related? They are actually related. By the time you are going to branding, other, other prostata, prostatas are involved. Because by the time you're getting to branding, you'll be talking of a particular logo which is peculiar to you, which by law you have it, then you'll be talking to Ministry of Trades and Investment, mm. Ministry of Industry, Trades and Investment. They're in charge of um, giving you the, the, the certify, okay, this logo of so, 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 Ames Media, nobody should use that logo again, more of a copyright mm -hmm. on you. So you have, a, which also is an aspect of mm. packaging. Mm. Because you see, all these things at the end of the day go into the graphics. It goes into the labeling mm. of your, and um, standard packaging rules at times, those labeling may take at least 40% of the whole size, mm. right? Which your logo and what, but each of those things has people who are in, if it is nutritional information or whatever, uh, the NAVDAC, NAVDAC does that. If it is uh, um, standards, for standard of whatever you are doing, it is the SON. Mm. Right. If it is the analysis, you can always come to us to okay. analyze for all those. Okay. Uh, Thank uh, you so much, sir. I ran into you at one of the training sessions. How much of trainings do you give to SME so that this information you have given to us will be, you know, enough, will be much okay, in the society so that uh, people know what is right? I've been to LCC almost twice or thrice for young entrepreneurs, SMEs. Uh, we took them through the rent training. We may have as consultant to international bodies, the GIZ of the world, this um, German, German cooperation program, mm -hmm. which we have done some work in, in some other parts of the state, mm -hmm. in Ogun State, in Jaws. Um, but in a very short time, as part of our training models, workshop models, if you go to the website, we are going to include packaging as part of it. 
lastly has to do with the new world order with this post covid now mm. and i will bring in the instance of packaging of nigeria here now whereby be the national president we want to get out free training right because like the one i attended exactly man exactly <laughs> that's it we, we at least a way of bringing them in knowing the nitty-gritty of packaging and probably labeling this time around mm -hmm. Packaging has a lot to do with COVID too, mm -hmm. but that's for another day entirely, mm -hmm. right? Because with the right packaging, you take care of um, uh, even other outside outside COVID, some okay. other uh, pathogenic uh, materials like that. Okay, you, you you are well endowed. You wear a lot of caps. I mean, you also double, or would I say triple? <laughs> as uh, the general secretary of uh, a lab certification why is it important or relevant necessary for a product to be certified with halal yeah. thank you very much ma um the more reason why any product needs to go through a lab certification is the critical point of halal is quite different from other critical points that's number one. Number two has to do with the wholesomeness. The, the concept of halal is global. Mm. And um, I attended a training in Malaysia two, three years back as an halal auditor. And um, there was Paul there. Paul came from Canada, a Christian. Ah, we were about 15 or 16 participants. I was enthused. I was amused. Paul, what's happening? Because the organizers too, why, why are you here? He said, though I'm a Christian, my community, both Muslim and non-Muslim, require a large certification for their product because they know what it entails. And that's why, as a CEO, I just want to come and get the training myself. Alal is not about religion. It's a global concept like ISO. Uh, like any of those worldly recognized bodies. Because what is halal in, Mush in, in Onike? In, in Onike, yeah. It's halal in, in Detroit, in U.S. Once it's certified halal in Idiaraba, if it is in Idiaraba, that product, if it's certified halal in Idiaraba, go to Kumasi in Ghana, it's, it's certified. It's, it's, uh, when you are talking of health, which is one of the key points of the um, sustainable development goal, uh, in fact, Alal is, um, is, um, is something which one needs to reckon with. The young entrepreneurs, particularly, what do you have to tell them post COVID on the survival strategy, thinking outside the box, adding value to the various value chains of all the product lines? Your concerns, sir. Thank you very much. Pre COVID, pre COVID is just February. We are moving post COVID now. I, I term it new world order. Wow. Right. Where everything will change. And if you can't afford to change, you may likely not move with the train. For our SMEs now, you should be thinking of something germane in everything we are doing. Not necessarily going out of your reach, but making sure that whatever we are doing conforms with the global trends. That global stand starts from our immediate environment. Make do with whatever you have such that once you get it right from either our packaging material, the pro like I, I don't want to scare our MS, SM, MSMEs, right? There are some, some packages now which they are, they are antibacterial, they are anti-COVID. In fact, there is, I have, I have some friends in the U.S., for some materials now, they do what we call corona treatment now for packaging materials, right? Wow. You do corona treatment, which has some components Protecting. of chemicals to protect. Mm -hmm. Look at many things now surrounds COVID, economy, politics, millimeters, right? It's it's around, and um, I wouldn't be. Don't let me. Don't never say never. Probably that that has come to stay. Life has changed entirely in terms of the way we live. Mm -hmm. When I can. Come here February, I won't see the materials you have out there. You've already provided water, you provided tissue, you provided sanitizer, you provide ah, which you in the in your wildest imagination you can never think of probably putting something like that. So let's just start from there. Mm -hmm. right? the consciousness. The, the, the conscious so 
that must go into into our packages too. Thank you so much for coming on the program. It's been a pleasure hosting Dr. S. A. Ajani. He is the National President Institute of Packaging Nigeria. Thank you very much. Also, the Deputy Director, Packaging Technology Division of Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Oshudi. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Man. I hope it's been value added. Very yeah, well. Thank you. Yeah, we are, I have learned a lot. It's up to the audience. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of our MSMEs and SMEs, they've learned a lot on the program today. The only way you can keep learning more is to stay tuned for another edition, same time next week. Stay safe and comply with all the regulations. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>